and ugly on the inside. Outside nations looking in saw America as flourishing when it was just the corporations and business leaders. On the inside, there were many problems faced by immigrants and Indians. Work conditions were horrid, urbanization caused different situations, and the way of Indian life changed dramatically. Workers were faced with long, hard, and tiring work days with very low wages. Factory workers often worked 12 or more hours, six days a week. Employees were not entitled to vacations, sick leave, unemployment compensation, or reimbursement for injuries suffered on the job. Yet, injuries were very common in dirty, poorly ventilated factories. Workers also had to perform repetitive, mind-dulling tasks, sometimes with dangerous or faulty equipment. In 1882, 675 laborers were killed in work-related accidents each week. Wages were so terrible that even women had to start laboring, and kids under the age of five had full-time jobs. With little time or energy left for school, child laborers forfeited their futures to help their families make ends meet. Urbanization Urbanization was also a huge problem that came with the Gilded Age. During the Gilded Age, more and more immigrants came from southern and eastern China and other parts of the world. With immigration came urbanization, with urbanization came overcrowding, tenements, crime, and sanitation issues. To help with overcrowding, they created these houses called tenements. Tenements were rented single rooms that were closely packed together with poor ventilation. Hallways were cramped with sinks in the hallway, fire escapes didn't work, and there was no lights in the already cramped hallways. The water was filled with bacteria since it wasn't properly filtered, which often led to different diseases. Trash and waste filled the streets. Animals and people's poops were in the water and in the streets. Buildings were often also lit by fire, by flammable housing materials, and crimes were at an all-time high. Thieves even often tricked other tenants into giving them things. The Great Plain Indians the livelihood of the Plains Indians were also destroyed. In 1865, two-thirds of all Indians lived on the Great Plains. They lived in different tribes and depended on buffalo and horse while being protected by the Indian, in, in the Indian Intercourse Act. But in 1871, the U.S. adopted its fourth Indian policy, assimilation. This was getting Indians to become more Americanized. Then later came the Dawes Act that offered land to Indians in order to get them away from their tribes and adopt the habits of a civilized American person. Indian children were often forced into assimilation boarding camps or schools in which they would cut off their hair, give them more American name and clothes, and were forced to have been in their way of life and culture. The final blow to Indian culture was the killing of buffalo, from 1872 to 1874, 3 million buffalo were killed each year, thus destroying and ruining the Indian culture and way of life. While the Gilded Age was good for corporations and business leaders, a lot of problems were produced. The way of living and culture of Indians were destroyed and forgotten. Urbanization caused overcrowding, crime, sanitation issues, and many more. And work conditions caused death and many other misfortunes.